everybody, John Gates. So we're going to go back. We're going to talk about uh, wrist escapes. Now, wrist escape is if I'm being pulled away or something like that, I want to get my base, and I can kind of take, step the lever, point the elbow, and I get out. Then I want to escape. But the problem is if this is just my only answer, I'm still involved if I don't back up. So we can, we can actually escalate to a higher level with striking and more threats or more grabs. So that is my escape, but I can also, if I'm here, as the two alternatives that I want to do is both directions, is I can come in, I'm going to grab the top, come over here, wrap, and go to the lock, and then right from here, I can finish the person. So I'm coming through, wrapping around. I'm going to go large so we see for the video. I would make it a smaller circle, but I'm coming through here. But before I do that, I'm going to trap their hand so they're not able to remove it. I want to catch it, fan through right there. I want to bend, and what I do when I get the elbow bent is I want to take the pinky and I want to imagine pushing it towards this patch right there. That's going to have give me the leverage that I need to finish this off, right? Third option is I go this way and he fights me and he pushes me. He maybe pushes me back this way so I can't. I come under, grab here, wrap this way. I'm going to turn pinky and thumb vertical and drive down right to here. And then I can finish it from here as well or go into a grapple. So the three options are from here, single, hands are up because I don't know if he's going to punch, base, escape. Um, another option of that, by the way, is here so I can move right in and clinch. Option two, grabbing the wrist, coming around here, point, drive in, and finish. If I go for two, he might give me resistance to push me back. So I wrap, I go with that turn here and finish from there. So those are our uh, three options that we teach on single wrist grab in the curriculum.